it is such that you cannot focus your attention right even for 5 minutes so in 2 minutes you take off right you start thinking of something else that does not mean that you don't want to understand that is your competence right? not the intention so you take off for 15 minutes then you come back and then you start searching what is been talked about <laughs> that is why i prefer to use blackboard so whatever i am saying i will write it down keep it there for 3 days so that even if you come back after 3 days you know what is been talked about because it's not that you don't want to understand you want to understand but because of lack of your competence right you keep on taking off right? and i will ask you how many times you take off in one and half an hour now 20 times 30 times right just think what will happen if i don't put it in the board the first day i use this ppt you know the projector but that will not work it is that was just to give an overview right so i use that but if i use the ppt once it is gone it is gone right then you come back after 5 minutes and you don't know what was talked about right <laughs> so i have to use the blackboard keep it three days no for three days there second i keep repeating the same thing n number of times why because it's your free will so when i'm saying something you are somewhere else <laughs> either you are not physically present if you are physically present you might be sleeping even if you are awake you are thinking of something else right all those possibilities are there that is level of your competence right if that level of your competence i keep repeating it n number of times so that at least once you hear <laughs> i remember in one of the workshop in masuri one of my friend which uh, vinish was there one of my friend by name shri ram he was there for that workshop on the fifth day he said that you have used this word natural acceptance 1000 times by now <laughs> <laughs> yeah he was counting all these days <laughs> i didn't know <laughs> i said look even after you know using this word 1000 times it has strike you it is a great favor for me <laughs> so when you may feel that i you know keep repeating something you know very often every day morning when i come i will you know sum up everything again then second half also i'll sum up again i am doing all this with very clear intention right? very clear intention of myself and yours right and then evaluating my competence and your competence and to be this on the basis of that evaluation of the competence so if i do it correctly i will have trust on intention of myself i will have trust on intention of everybody else sitting here but when i to make a program with you i will evaluate my competence i will evaluate your competence right on the basis of that we make the program and that is what we are doing that is why this program is successful because every time i am willing to evaluate my competence and evaluate your competence and update my program on the basis of this evaluation and all that is done on the foundation of trust on intention the trust on intention is there get the data what you are doing in this class right? whether you are you know sleeping or listening right? whether you are paying attention to this or to something else right? i keep observing all that <laughs> but <laughs> with all that i don't doubt your intention <laughs> so 
I only see that that is your competence. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and with that competence, then I decide my program of action. What to do with it? <laughs> so repeat or drop your attention or ask a question to you. Right? So that will break your inner sleeping. So all that I do with this trust on intention. If it is there, this program will be successful. If the trust on intention is not there, it will lead to the action. So that is one question which I will just ask you know, for closing and leave it for you to decide. That if you can see this, but as far as the natural acceptance is concerned, I want to make myself happy and make the other happy. Similarly, if I look at the other person, okay, his natural acceptance is also to make himself happy and make others happy. But with the lack of competence, I am not able to make myself always happy and make others always happy. <coughs> Similarly, due to lack of competence, he is not able to make himself happy and make us, me happy. If I can see this, <coughs> then I will have to trust on intention of the other unconditionally. <coughs> if I write them down, what, we, what it means is, if I have trust on intention, intention of the other. <coughs> and if I find that the other is lacking competence, intention of the other, but I see that the other is lacking competence, then <coughs> what will I do? There are four possibilities, okay. rather two possibilities to begin with. Will I help him? Improve his competence. <clears throat> what will I do? Will I in help him to improve his competence if he does not have the competence? Right? Or second. Will I get irritated? Will I get angry? Or will I have feeling of opposition? What will happen? If I have trust on intention of the other, that is, I understand the other wants to make me happy in person. Okay. But due to lack of competence, he is not able to do it. Then what will I do? I will try to improve upon his competence? Or I will get irritated? Or get angry? Or have a feeling of opposition? So this is the right question. Yes. Yeah. And? Yeah.
cases it depends on person to person situation and the place and the condition. All these four, four things are together. In our case. Yes. But <coughs> when it, it you means think about the natural that if you are doing any of these three, if you are doing any of these three under 2 ABC, that means you have started doubting his intention. Because unless you doubt his intention, you have no option but to help him to improve his competence. Right? In this sense, I have this question, you know, for you, and which you have to look into yourself and decide. Okay? How many people? You have trust on intention. <coughs> trust on intention, unconditional. Continuous. yourself and that will give you an idea of how scholarly you are how much you have understood the trust how much you have the feeling of trust right? how much knowledgeable you are what is your state of right understanding and right feeling and do it sincerely this is a very significant thing For you, for your relationship. If you have trust and intention unconditionally, continuously, then these three things will not happen. A, B, C will not happen. You will not get irritated. You will not have, you know, get angry. You will not have a feeling of opposition. Right? If the other is lacking competence, you will try to improve his competence. So, how many people are there in your relationship? It's whom you don't get irritated, you don't have a, you know, get angry, you don't have a feeling of opposition, right? Continuously. So ask yourself, how many people you have trust on intention, unconditional, continuous? <laughs> so this over evaluation which you have done for yourself, you always think I am fine. Others have to improve. <laughs> ask yourself, and I will ask you back tomorrow, right? <laughs> How many people you have trust on intention unconditionally, continuous? That is, how many people are there with whom you don't get irritated or get angry or have a feeling of opposition, even if they are lacking of. I will stop for the day. <laughs> we will continue further discussion on this feeling of trust. I think it has already created enough.